My name's Sid Walters. Um, I've been here since 1979. We bought this property at that time and um, I grew up on a uh, farm about an hour from where I live now to the southwest. So I have a pretty long history with the Monero. Um, I guess one would say must have a fair bit of passion to go with it now. Um, I became recently aware of uh, an interest in getting this rail trail happening on the train line through our property and properties all the way through from perhaps possibly from Canberra to Bombala. Um, uh, I'm not a big push bike rider but I think towns along the way, rural towns in general need injections and uh, this is just something that springs to mind and uh, pretty much a lot of the work's been done. The railway line is generally still there, uh, the corridor is still there. There are plenty of issues with different farmers um, having, uh, I guess, are affected in different ways. Um, we're reasonably lucky because the, the, um, the train line pretty much follows the highway and so the impact is probably easy for us. It may be a little different for those that, um, that where, they're, uh, where the train line cuts well away from the highway through the middle of their properties, for example. Um, I think all the issues are able to be worked around. Um, but at the, the bottom line is, I suppose, there's nothing in it for farmers, but that's not why I want to see it go ahead. Um, I think if everyone said, there was nothing in it for them, nothing would happen. So um, as, I recent, as I just stated, um, towns need some help and um, I think this will be a major, major boost. So the bodies and uh, the process from here, uh, I think everybody should get on board and at least listen to the pros and cons. Uh, levels of government probably uh, need to listen to all the pros and cons, but I think at the end of the day there'll be uh, there'll be much more positivity uh, than negativity. I know lots of landholders along the way are keen to see something happen and um, make use of something that uh, goes through a pristine landscape, um, one we all take for granted because we see it every day. But for international people and uh, Australians, for that for um, uh, they uh, they just haven't seen this Monero the way you know um, they drive whiz through in a car perhaps but it's a different demographic uh, of people riding push bikes and they have the time to absorb the environment around them.